Hi, in this video, we will be looking at this small expressionist painting. My goal is to give it more depth and more spatial structure. Hi, I am Jaap Age, expressionist painter from the Netherlands. And in my channel, it's all about expressionism, expressionist art, and more particularly, expressionist painting. If you like expressionism, please consider to subscribe. But more importantly, comment, because my whole aim with this channel is to communicate with other people interested in expressionism, loving expressionism, and so on. So have a look at this uh, little work. It's part of my beeline, which means I wasn't too serious when I made it. But then, uh, suddenly, it became something. Uh, it is called The Flirtation. And uh, while I was making it, I was doing some other job with a colleague. Uh, and he was, you know, shamelessly flirting with somebody in the room. We see two figures here. Uh, this is my colleague here, uh, and this is the woman he is flirting with. So, you know, I like this work, but there's one thing. I know in this day and age we're all focusing on what is good, what is beautiful, you know, what is right, what are my strengths, you know, what is positive, and in and of itself that's a good thing. But, you know, in some situations, it's very also important to focus on, you know, what could be better. And the formula is, this painting is too, and then you finish the sentence. And I can say this painting is too flat. This painting is too non-spatial. It lacks space. So I decided to put these two figures here into a space, which is, you know, a bit of a hassle in the sense that I've already made it and now I have to put the space behind it. If you, plan it. <laughs> if you paint the trees in, and the sky, first paint the sky and then add the trees, so you don't have to sort of work around all the leaves when you put in the sky. However, I already have this, so I have to live with my mistakes. So, in this case, I have to sort of work the room uh, between the figures that are in the room. So, what are the dimensions of a room? Um, I found this photograph uh, on the internet uh, of two people, both in white in this case, which is handy for the shadows, uh, and they are in a room. So basically, I took this room and sort of put it roughly, you know, with some lines behind my two uh, flirting people. It will give more of a spatial uh, atmosphere. I have to say already, just simply putting in this uh, line here, this white line here, uh, gave me more of a sense of space. So that's number one. And then number two, which will be the next video, uh, the next movie uh, is I will give these two figures much more, you know, shadows and highlights, making them more spatial again. So what I hope to achieve is that it is, it has that sort of, you know, weird expressionist atmosphere, uh, but at the same time, the space is recognizable for the person who are viewing this. Why? Because, you know, I like it like this, actually. But I think, you know, no, hardly anybody else will understand what's going on. So I have to express more clearly what's happening here. And I'm going to be using space for that. So here we are again. Um, I put in the yellow background. I have to say... A little doubtful about this. Uh, it's a bit too flat, actually. So, I took my fateful water bottle, spray it a little bit, and then... And 
And then with some paper, I can reveal, re reveal, I can reveal some more of the background of this yellow. And as you see, we get a bit more, uh, a little more. Still not enough, but we get a little more, you know, a life in the background. I thought it was painted a bit too dead. Not as easy as I thought. Oh, that's better, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm revealing some more of the, the layer under the yellow because I thought the yellow was getting too flat. On that Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. Of course, I have to make sure that the objects. Well, I added some of my DNA to this uh, painting, so you can always uh, prove that it's an original Yab Age. So, okay, well, let me dry this up because I don't want this to reveal anything. All right, okay, so that's a lot better, actually. Ah, it's a relief, too. So, um, I left a few of the elements in the back visible, like this piece here and this piece here, to, you know, add some interest to the room. And I also noticed there's a little piece that you simply missed here. Okay, so we have the floor and now we will continue with the window and the wall. So here we are in the uh, final stage of the addition of the room, which was number one of my depth um, interventions. Uh, I put a little window here. I made the, the floor a bit more orange because I thought it was too uh, yellow and I restored some colors here and there so this is I'm happy with this as the um, the, the spatial uh, dimensions of the room now in the next movie I will uh, sort of recreate this scene with puppets put a light on it uh, and from that I will add uh, shadows and highlights and that should finish this work. It's a small work. I already put quite a bit of time in it, into it actually. Like I said in the beginning, it was really, really true that, um, you know, for instance, well, say, take for instance this, well, this, this floor here. Uh, it's a really simple floor, but it's really sort of complex to, you know, paint around. So it would have been much easier had I known put in the floor, put in the window, and then add the figures. But that also presupposes that you have to have a very specific plan how you, what you want to depict. And in this case, I had no idea. Okay, see you in the next one.